Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the pixellab.net. Hope your day is going awesome. I am pumped up because I have a cup of coffee in my hand, a Vente Latte, and this sucker is courtesy of Lou, who actually sent me some money via PayPal, and uh, he told me to go buy a cup of coffee. So thank you very much, Lou. I really appreciate that. And now let's get cooking. So today I'm going to go over the shader effector. Um, I've had a few requests uh, to kind of go over my uh, my real intro and the uh, bumper intro for my tutorials. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's talk about these sidebars first. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the rest of it. So these sidebars, I literally just had them animate on, just keyframe the position and move them on, right? So we'll go ahead and turn those off. That's kind of boring. I'll show you the fun stuff here. So I got a text and uh, put that in extrude, put that in a fracture just so that it would split up all the pieces, right? All right, now is when the fun comes. So we're going to go ahead and use the shader effector, MoGraph effector shader effector. If you go ahead and hold the Alter Option key, it'll kind of dump the fracture right into it. And uh, what you can see is that it got a little bit jumbled. So let's talk about why that happened. If we go to the parameter, you can see that scale is enabled. If we kind of bump that up, you can see that the shader effector is definitely affecting something here. And uh, if we turn that on and turn on position, kind of move it around, you can see that essentially this is acting as a giant random effector. But the nice thing about the shader effector is there's a lot more options, right? So the first thing we need to do is decide what parameters we want this to affect. And I had it as scale. And I actually turned it to minus one, which is basically zero. That way nothing is showing up, right? So let's talk about fall off real quick. So fall off, if we turn, it's on infinite. If we turn that to box, you can see that we get this yellow box with a red interior. This box is the fall off, right? The fall off is really cool because you can basically uh, move the offset of the um, the fall off and kind of wipe on different animations, right? And because we changed the value of uh, the uh, the effector to scale, it's uh, animating the scale, right? So if we put on rotation instead, we kind of bump that up and then go back to our fall off. You can do some amazing things with this, right? So if we kind of like sweep it across, you can kind of have things animate on, right? All right, let's go back and turn on the scale the way that I had it. So minus one, right? Turn off rotation. So what we wanted to do is basically go from zero all the way opening up and revealing all of them. So right now it's inverted. So we'll basically kind of go to close it completely up and then we can check invert. So essentially if we render here, there's nothing visible. So now all we have to do is hit a keyframe for the size. So we'll go to the beginning, hit a keyframe for size. And we'll go to, I don't know exactly, but I think it might have been like a second. We'll go ahead and move this and open it up, right? There we go, and then we'll hit another keyframe. So you can see that it's not quite fully animated. That's because this red box, uh, which is kind of the fall off limit, is still touching the text. So we'll just kind of open that up a little bit there. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit render and see what we got there. So then if we turn on our sidebars, uh, I don't know if it'll exactly line. Oh, it's actually pretty close. So yeah, that's how I did my real intro and the intro to these tutorials. Um, and then I brought this into After Effects and I did everything else in After Effects. I added some shake, obviously the background and some ink splats. That was all in After Effects. So there is kind of a brief um, overview of the shader effector. Definitely gonna have to do some more tutorials on effectors because they are really, really cool. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks guys for checking it out. And thanks again, Lou, for the coffee. Really appreciate it, buddy. We'll talk again soon. Bye, everybody.